Hello and welcome to Catamotus Triathlon. In this video, we are going to show you how to heat mold your shoes for the perfect fit. The most important part of the Catamotus cycling shoe is the solid carbon shell that makes up the sole of the shoe. This carbon shell optimally supports and stabilizes your whole foot, especially your heel. With its unique shell-like shape, the carbon sole of the cycling shoe wraps around your foot and toe box with edges of about one and a half inches. The carbon shell also wraps around your heel where it seamlessly blends with the contour of the shoe in the same vein as one piece speed skating boot designs. The carbon shell sole features a unique construction which allows for small changes to fit and mold the shoe to your foot in order to enhance comfort and performance. In order to heat mold the shoes for a perfect fit, you can use an oven or a heat gun, depending on whether you want to reshape them fully or only in specific areas. The oven option is recommended if you're molding the shoes for the first time or need to remold several areas of the shoe at the same time, such as the toe box, the heel pocket, or the general width. The heat gun will be preferred for heating on a specific desired spot only. Heat molding will not allow for modifications to the sole and base of the shoe. Small adjustments can be made to the edges of the heel cup, however. Changes to the footbed shape are not possible through heat molding. For those looking for greater support in the base of the shoe, please consider custom orthotics with support as required. Heat molding is only designed for very small changes to fit, two to three millimeters at most. The shoe can be widened or narrowed about one width size. I will now go over the standard oven molding process in five steps. Step one, preheat the oven to 80 degrees Celsius or 175 degrees Fahrenheit. Please note that higher temperatures will void your warranty and may cause damage to your shoes. We recommend using an oven thermometer for any ovens that do not list a temperature below 70 degrees Celsius or 160 degrees Fahrenheit. Step two, remove the cleats, cleat mounting screws, and the inner sole of the shoe. Step three, place the shoes in the oven for 15 minutes. Step four, once the shoes are heated, take the shoes out of the oven. Keep in mind, you may need to wear gloves for handling the warm shoes. You should be able to easily flex the upper heel if the shoes are ready. If the shoe is ready, put the insoles back in. Then put the shoes on. Take precaution because some parts of the shoe can be hot and hurt if you're going in with bare feet. Make sure your heels are pulled back in the shoe. Tighten the disc dial gently. Over tightening may damage the dial mechanism. Step five, let the shoes cool down while wearing them. Sit down during this process to prevent putting too much load on the sole while the material is malleable. Shift the inside pressure over the ball of your foot by moving your feet to the back. Let the shoes cool down. The shell sole will harden again and keep the shape of your foot. Here are some tips and tricks to help you out in various stages of the molding process. If the back side of the shoe feels too loose, press the heel area to mold the heel during the cooling process. Use your foot as a counter mold to shape the heel. In this case, it may be more convenient to mold your shoe one by one instead of both at the same time. Having good heel support is important for increasing stability during cycling. You can adjust the tightness of the fit by deciding to mold the shoes wearing socks instead of barefoot. Wearing socks while cooling down will result in a wider and sometimes more comfortable shape for your feet. Wearing thicker socks will obviously result in even more space. If you are looking for a more tight fit in order to improve the feel on the bike, you could leave the insoles out while molding the shoes. Add them after when the shoes are cooled down. You can also use the butt of a screwdriver to mold a specific area where you have either pressure points or feel that the shoe is too tight. This way you can solve issues with bumps like navicular or metatarsal bone. The same effect can be achieved by exaggerating the bump on your feet before doing the standard molding. This can be done by adding some layers of sports tape on top of the bump before you put the shoes on for the cooling process. Thank you for watching this video and enjoy your perfect fit Catamotus Triathlon Cycling Shoe.